Hello, I'm Bruce Yaney, and today in Homemade Science, I want to show you how to make these lever toys. Now, in the previous video, I showed their operation. In this video, I want to show you how to put them together. Let's start by taking a look at some different versions of it. They can be simple and come in a variety of different sizes, from smaller ones to ones that are much larger. You can also use a variety of animated figures, such as Homer Simpson. I think my favorite is probably Abe Lincoln. Or if you want to make it more personal, you can either make it of someone you know, or better yet, make it of yourself. Now in building these, I think it's best to start with making the gymnast itself. Make the body, and then scale up the lever to match it in size. There can be quite a bit of flexibility in the dimensions. I found the body length about half the length of the total length of the arms to work fairly well. Here's a simple design that's easy to make. Or if you want to make one of yourself, you have to start with a picture of something like this. You can then put it in a Word document, remove the arms, and then blend in the shirt to remove any trace of them. The body can be divided into three parts. You can then make copies of each and drag it so that you get a reverse image. This will give you pictures to put on both sides of the acrobat. Once I'm satisfied with the pictures, it's then time to go on to the actual construction. In this case, it's going to be Abe Lincoln. Once again, I go through the same step to get the regular image and a reverse image, and I do that for the body, the legs, and the arms. I'll then cut out the images, and then using some spray adhesive, I'll attach one set of the pictures to a piece of quarter-inch plywood. These are then cut out using a small scroll saw. After some light sanding, I'll then once again use the spray adhesive and attach the opposite images to the other side of the figure. Together, and then two sets of holes are drilled through the hands. Determine where you want the arm to go. Drill a hole for the top of the arm. That's going to attach it to the shoulder. Somewhere around there, I think looks about right. Nylon string is then used to attach both the arms and the legs to the body. There's a knot on either side of it to hold it in place. For the smaller toys, I used screws to hold the levers into the space bar. On this larger one, I'm going to use a bolt that travels through the first lever, through the space bar, into the second lever, and then is held in place by a lock nut. The last step is attaching the figure to the lever bars. The lever bars have two holes in them that match up to the holes in the figurine's hands. The string is laced through one set of holes and then returned through a lower set. Here's a clearer picture of it. We can see that spacer in between the one set of holes that keeps the arms apart. As we move the body over, we can see the strings cross. Now let's give them a try. found this project interesting enough that it may be something you'll try for yourself. And if you do, I would love to hear about it in the comments below. As always, I want to thank you for watching and come back and see me again. Okay, bye!